Delhi airport. I was stopped by them. They asked me who I am. They asked me whether I was a spy. So what to say? I'm wearing a robe and my name here is a lay name. So in Sri Lanka, all our bikunis are being violated. Since 1985, thousands of Sri Lankan female Buddhist bhikkhunis have been denied their national identification cards. In the name of religion, one in four girls are married off as child brides. Honor killings and forced conversions claim about 1,000 lives a year in Pakistan, while blasphemy laws have targeted Christian minority women like Asiya Bibi. National policy, state laws, tradition and customs, often subtle, complex and hidden, discriminate against women and girls. More than uh, 3,500 bhikkhunis are without identity cards, reporting, requesting and making a protest. So far, nobody is there to listen to Bikuni's voice. Without an identity card, the nuns can't open a bank account, take a national examination, or do basic business transactions. The UN has declared that ensuring women's participation at all levels is central to peace and security, building strong economies. Saraya Dean, is a Sri Lankan-born lawyer, member of the International Religious Freedom Roundtable, and co-chair of the Women's Working Group. She was born to a family of mixed religious heritage. Her mother was Buddhist and her father was Muslim. Her work centers on defending the dignity and human rights of women of faith. In 2018, I was in Sri Lanka working with the Omnia Institute for Contextual Leadership. Participating at our training was a female Buddhist bhikkhunis by the name of Maharagama Utpalavanna. We connected instantly. Little did I know then that I would stand up on behalf of her and 3,000 women bhikkhunis who were denied national identity cards by the Sri Lankan government. Speaking at the 2021 Parliament of World Religions, which included dignitaries such as the Dalai Lama, Saraya highlighted these challenges. I have written to four presidents and prime ministers. This is the last letter I have received from the presidential office, but so far, nothing happened. This is a breach of the Sri Lankan constitution and Article 18 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, including the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, governing the freedom of religion or belief. Today, Soraya has obtained signatures to counter religious-based discrimination against bhikkhunis. The petition to support women's religious freedom has reached the State Department for the attention of the Secretary of State. Freedom of religion or belief is not about protecting a religion at all. It is not protecting conservative and patriarchal religious traditions and values. It is about protecting individual freedom. Women must be free to interpret and practice their faith against orthodoxy. All the women's organization in the world, listen to me. I'm a bhikkhuni from Sri Lanka. Please look into this matter, help us to get our identity card. Audrey Lord reminds us that I am not free while any woman is unfree, even when her shackles are very different from my own shackles.